So, um, I've been thinking about relationships and stuff lately. Um, I feel like a lot of women don't know what they want. Um, I mean this because, okay, we were just having a discussion about how women would feel if a man proposed to them, but he didn't have a ring. Um, some women were saying like, you know, the best women were saying like, yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with it because love, marriage is about love, not necessarily about the finances, which is a good point, point that I've talked about in other previous video about women proposing to men. But yeah, you can look at it, check that out. But um, I feel like a lot of women don't know what they want. It's like, I mean, you know, if a woman would have a problem with a man proposing to her without a ring, then she don't necessarily really want to be married. She's more focused on the money aspects and things that come along with it. Um, I don't feel like people, I, I, not even just women, I, I feel like a lot of people don't know what they want, honestly. Like, like check, I was at this reggae party this uh, this Friday night. I had the reggae party Friday night. The joint started like 11, 11 start, it started at 11, you know, reggae joint. They start late, they start late. Um, Jones started at 11, me being me, I was trying to dance. I ain't, I don't go to reggae parties all that much. I was really happy to hear some reggae. I was in my zone, like getting it. And I know how to dance to reggae too. It's a certain way that you're supposed to dance to reggae. Like the man is supposed to squat down so that the woman can sit in his lap. And then you whine from that position. Take note, just practice it. But, you know, it's after a while, it start. It built. It built up slow. It built up rel relatively slow. And, and you know, in the club, most people ain't gonna be the first to hop on the dance floor. Unlike myself, you know. You know. I, and I, I, I accept that. It is what it is. But it built up slow. But after a while, when it got pretty packed in there, at least, like people didn't start getting on the dance floor until one thirty. Started at eleven. People did not get on the dance floor until one thirty. You know, club probably going to end at three. So I'm thinking like, damn, I'm glad I ain't paid a party with y'all. Because they were charging 10 at the dope. If I'd have paid $10 and I wouldn't have been partying, I'd have been partying myself for half the party. I would have been upset. Oh, y'all would have had an angry Brandon up in that joint that night. But, have the, it's, you know, so it's all these people. Eventually, it got pretty packed in there. And then the whole dance floor looked like everybody was, like, the, the dance floor was water and everybody was scared to hop in the water. It, it looked sad. Eventually, it looked sad. Like, what is wrong with you people? The music is good. It's reggae. They had 10 DJs. 10. Somebody played something you liked. You <laughs> feel me? Somebody played something you liked within 10 DJs. Somebody played something that, that, that was going to was gonna get you to turn up. But, nah. They did not turn up for the most part. I mean, they, they got turned up on the soca, and you got to get turned up on soca because soca could make you go crazy. Like, you got to go crazy off some soca. But people were, it looked like something was wrong. It, it was like obvious that something was wrong. It was all of these people back, back, away from the dance floor. Like, there was, like, this dance floor was on fire. It was, we don't go over there. Masano, you dancing? No. Like, what? I, I And then everybody looking at their phones and everything. It's like, yo, you had a party. You paid to get in. You paid to get in to this party. And you're looking at your phone. Put your phone down. If you wanted the person that you texting to be there, they would have been there. If you wanted to be with that person, you would have been with that person. But you at this party, separate from them. You could have been there. But no, you decided to do other things. So have fun where you at and enjoy the people that you're around. Thousands of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like 50s. <laughs> hundreds. At least about at least 100 some people in the junk. You surrounded by 100 some people. But you decide that you want to be talking to this person that is over there. It's like these people who are in the same vicinity with you, they possibly had similar interests. They, 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 for whatever it was worth, you were in the same place together. But no, you decided to go to, to be trying to entertain somebody that is not even connected to you like that. And, and, and it's just like, why? I ain't saying, you know, you got to pass up your boyfriend, you know, blah, blah, blah. But 
Why are we like that? Why are people like that? And it's sad. It's sad. <clears throat> people don't know what they want. Um, some friend of mine, Shorty called me up talking about uh, some dude she was dating was uh, he wasn't intellectually engaging her. He was, uh, she asking him like, you know, how do you show your affection? Cause I ain't seeing it. How do you show your affection? Because I, uh, you know, uh, we've been doing this for some time and I, and I want to know what, what's your love language and do like what people don't have conversations like that. I'm thinking what I've people, I know people that have conversations like that all the time, you know, do like, like, Dude, like, uh, da, 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 whatever. Dude, like, uh, you just show everybody has a different way of showing their affection in different relationships. I'm thinking, yeah, of course, yes, that, that, that is true. That is true. But if you've been around the block a couple of times, you know what you like. I mean, me being a, a artist, musician, I mean, I would like some artsy shit, you know, or it's like, Everybody has their idea, their idea of what their love is like, and they have their ways that they show it to other, another person. I got it's like I got this garden in the back of my yard, and I could bring you to the garden, but I don't think you're gonna see it like I want you to see it. So I gotta give it to you in your language. What I got is a garden over here, but since I can't bring it to you, maybe I could bring you some of the flowers you could smell from the garden. Or I got this garden and I actually grow some vegetables in the joint so I could cook you some food with the fruits and vegetables from my garden. Or I can synthesize my garden into something that you could understand from your perspective. That's how love languages work. This person didn't understand that. And I mean, you know, and dude was kind of like cutting her off. Like she trying to have a engage. She trying to have a conversation with him and he cutting her off, cutting her off, even like in a disrespectful way, honestly. And she telling, she telling me about the journey. I'm like, I don't think dude could keep up. I think you on a higher level than him and he can't keep up. So he say she was going to call me back later that night. I called her back. I mean, this is a friend, just, just a friend. I called her back. She said she was busy. She said she was going to call me back the next day. Never called me back. A few days later, like about almost a week later, I give her a call. This was like Wednesday. I give her a call today. Ask her what's up. Like, she like, she, she, she look at that furniture. I'm like, look at that furniture. Uh, they like, you I'm like, what happened with old boy? And like, other night you was mad. Like, you about to cut him off. Like, and I'm like, yeah, cut him off. Cut that bitch off. You don't know the fuck he doing with a good woman. Cut that bitch off. Cut that bitch off. Shit. And then, I'm like, what happened with that? She was like, oh, we all back. We good now. We back to normal. I'm like, back to normal. Back to being unaffectionate. Like, and she like, no, nah. being quiet and shit. I was like, oh, so he broke you off, huh? He gave you some of that act right. Your ass shut up. She like, yeah. I'm like, damn. I'm like, think. I'm thinking like, shit, y'all. You supposed to make him work for it. If you upset, he not showing you what you need to need him to show you. You supposed to make him work for it and show you how what you need is him to show you how he how you want him to show it to you. Like sex is sex. Sex is a beautiful thing. But sex is the simplest, easiest, nat most natural, yes. But it's the easiest way to show a person affection. To 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 connect with a person, yes. But it's like you should, a, a good relationship has sex. Sex is gonna get boring. It's gonna get old. It get old. No matter how many toys and tricks and loops and blah blah blah, say, it eventually get old if you ain't got nothing else besides that. And, 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 and if somebody make you mad, be mad, be mad, stay mad. Don't, don't, don't give in. Don't give in. Don't give in. Like, no, males and females. Shit. Shorty might be, girl might be pretty or whatnot, but if she pretty and she can't, I want to say entertain, but, but, you know, she can't do nothing besides just be pretty. To find another girl that's just that's just pretty shit. If I wanted just thighs and breasts, I could get a daggone chicken box or something like that. 
That's real, man. We want more than that because we can find any. We can find that anywhere. Like, shorty, y'all better read some books or something. Like, I be trying to tell. I be trying to tell them, like, yo, Malcolm X had a video. It's on YouTube. Look it up. He was talking about relationships. He was talking about a lot of times females don't know. Females think when a man is diving into his own world of things that he is connect. He is disconnecting her from him. It doesn't mean and he's shutting her out. It doesn't mean that. I mean, maybe he's actually working. This was coming from Malcolm X. So at the time, we were talking about uh, people studying and teachers of the Nation of Islam and the blase blase, of course. Um, but if a man is so, I mean, especially nowadays, you know, us fellas, we were playing video games. If a dude is, if he played video games, you can take a step to try to learn what his video games is about. Don't just let it be, because I mean, like, I done had, like, my brother tell me something like, uh, um, don't tell a girl that you play video games, because then she gonna think that that's something that's gonna keep you away from her. Well, personally, I don't want a girl to play video games. We could do that together. But it's like, instead of letting it be something that, that you, that, that you let separate you from him, why don't you try to take an opportunity to get, dive into that world with him? I mean... I think a good man would teach his girl, his woman, how to play the video games that he played. If you try it, give it a try. You might learn it. Now, I'm saying it has some bad shoulders. Bad shoulders playing Call of Duty like raw. Like, come on. It's doable. It's not, it's not rocket science. They make video games for children. You can learn. I hope. But... I mean, shoot, it, you know, it, it's video games or sports. I mean, yeah, it's good to have a girl that likes sports, too. And women do like sports. But if you like the dude and you are not, you don't have some of the same interests or whatnot, but you still like him, you could take an extra step. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean that it do, it's not going to work out or you're changing yourself for somebody else. You're learning. <gasps> Gasp. People are so afraid to learn. Like, people are so afraid to learn. Shorties say they want a man that'll stimulate their mind and stuff like that. But then they don't want to learn things, how to stimulate his mind. And women, same thing with, with dudes, though. Dudes can say they want a smart girl or whatever, but they don't want to take the time to learn things from their perspective at all. I think it's just bad. Because things like that, lopsided relationships create further lopsided relationships. People could settle in a relationship, then eventually stick with that person for so long that they get married and have this lopsided marriage. And then the children are seeing a lopsided marriage. The male is possibly nine times out of ten dominating over the woman. And then it continues. The two children see this. And that's how they think that it's supposed to be. So then we have a more, a longer continuum of lopsided relationships and just bad relationships with people who don't know how to love each other. And honestly, coming from the black community, we done had that shit so much in our, in our history of ways and means to separate the black community, the black male and the black female, the black families from having structure and strength in their households. We got to get it together, yo. Like, people of all races, get this love thing right. And honestly, I think some heterosexual couples could learn from some homosexual couples because they got a lot of struggles and 